6 things that love isn't, and 5 things love is. What love really is, and what it is not. Most of the things, we have been conditioned, to believe about love, are bullshit. The myth of romantic love, has been ingrained in us since childhood, through cultural conditioning, childhood fairy tales, and movies. We have been led to believe, that for every man in the world, there is a woman, meant for him, and vice versa. When we come across the person, that heaven intended for us, we will find our perfect match, and then we will be compatible in every regard. But when in reality, when we fail to understand each other, or fail to satisfy all of each other's needs, or fight or fall out of love, then it is clear, that we made a dreadful mistake. We did not read the signs right, what we thought was love was not our real love, and we are now doomed for life. In this video, we will talk about these myths, about love, we have been conditioned with, since childhood, and also what love, truly is. 6 Things, Love Is Not If you ask people to define love, most of them would use above-mentioned descriptors. However, if you have lived enough life, you would have realized, that what we have been culturally conditioned to think, about love is actually unhealthy, and incorrect. Before we get down to understanding what love really is, let's first filter out what love is not. 1. Love is not a feeling. We have been led to believe, that love is a feeling. But that's not the case about genuine love. When we meet someone, we may start to feel attraction towards them, due to the chemical rush inside our bodies. But this phase of attraction, and lust, doesn't last long. Our feelings can be momentary, and fleeting, but genuine love implies commitment, and exercise of wisdom. It is when we truly love someone, that we make a thoughtful, and committed decision, to support that person's well-being, and growth. It is when we genuinely love someone, that we make an effort to stretch ourselves, to act in loving ways towards them, even on days, when we don't feel like loving. 2. Love is not dependency. Love is the free exercise of choice. Two people love each other only when, they are quite capable of living without each other, but choose to live with each other. Another common myth, about love is that, love is dependency. The romantic love, ideal of love, propagated by Hollywood flicks, and fairy tales make some people believe that, a part of them is missing, until they find their other half. These kinds of people, have no sense of identity, without a relationship, and tolerate loneliness poorly. It is as if, it doesn't matter who they are, in a relationship, as long as they have someone. Love is not dependency. Genuine love is built, on the foundations of intimacy, and interdependence. If this delicate balance is lost, the dreadful psychological condition of codependence, sets in. 3. Love is not hurtfulness or vengeance. If in your relationships, you experience both, love, and the opposite of love, attack, emotional violence, and so on, then it is likely that you are confusing ego attachment, and addictive clinging, with love. You cannot love your partner one moment, and attack him or her, next. True love has no opposite. If your love has an opposite, then it is not love but, a strong ego need for a more complete, and deeper sense of self, a need that the other person, temporarily meets. Love is not at all about hurtfulness, or vengeance. These emotions can only come from a place of ego, and fear, and never from a place of, true love. 4. Love is not a substitute, for doing your own healing, and shadow work. We unconsciously attract partners, who have characteristics, or qualities that we don't have, and we think that having these people in our lives, will make us complete, and whole. Or we attract partners to heal our inner wounds, whether they stem from childhood, or insecurity, or any other place. Till the time we heal our wounds, and integrate our shadow side, and achieve wholeness on our own, we will keep on attracting partners, out of our insecurities, and fear, and not out of love. Whatever you need, or want, from a partner, you should be able to provide to yourself first. Love is not a substitute, for your inner work of healing, and integrating your dark, and shadow side. 
5. Love is not about self-sacrifice or masochism. Another misconception about love is that love is self-sacrifice. Love is a delicate balance of interdependence. It is about taking responsibility for self-care and then extending yourself to love and support your partner. You cannot fill from an empty cup. When some people refer to self-sacrifice or martyrdom as love, they are basically trying to get their own need for masochism, met under the garb of love. They suffer from low self-worth, and try to compensate for the lack of self-love, by playing the role of a martyr. In this way, they are doing a disservice to both themselves, and the person they claim to love. 6. Love is not ownership, or entitlement. Another major misconception, that stems from romantic love ideal, is a feeling of ownership, or entitlement regarding our partner. We think that if we love someone, they are our own property. Not just that, we want to put a label on our relationship, as soon as we can, thinking that by putting a stamp of marriage, or any legally binding contract, we will be able to keep that person with us forever. We forget that the other person is not an object, and has a separate identity, opinions, likes, and dislikes. He does not necessarily, have to agree on everything, that we say nor does have to function according to our whims, and fancies, or has to stick around with us forever. If someone outgrows relationship, or falls out of love, he is free to move on from a relationship. Now that we know, what love isn't, here is what true love, really is. 5 Things, That Love Really Is 1. Love is a Choice I have defined love, as the will to extend oneself, for the purpose of nurturing one's own, or another's, spiritual growth. Genuine love is volitional, rather than emotional. The person who truly loves, does so because of a decision to love. True love is not a feeling by which, we are overwhelmed. It is a committed, a thoughtful decision. Like we discussed, love is not an overwhelming feeling. Instead, it is a thoughtful, and committed decision. 2. Love is disciplined. Love is not simply giving, it is judicious giving, and judicious withholding as well. It is judicious praising and judicious criticizing. It is judicious arguing, struggling, confronting, urging, pushing and pulling in addition to comforting. It is leadership. The word judicious means, requiring judgment, and judgment requires more than instinct, it requires thoughtful, and often painful decision making. We do not like to hear love, and discipline, in the same sentence, but discipline is actually required, to love in the right ways. 3. Love is separateness. Let there be spaces, in your togetherness, and let the winds of the heavens, dance between you. Love one another, but make not a bond of love, let it rather be a moving sea between, the shores of your souls. Fill each other's cup, but drink not from one cup. Give one another of your bread, but eat not from the same loaf. Sing and dance together, and be joyous, but let each one of you be alone, even as the strings of a lute are alone, though they quiver with the same music. Give your hearts, but not into each other's keeping. For only the hand of life can contain your hearts. And stand together, yet not too near together, for the pillars of the temple, stand apart, and the oak tree, and the cypress grow, not in each other's shadow. Love is a beautiful companionship, between two separate individuals, who come together to help each other to reach, their highest potential, without losing their individuality in the process. 4. Love is action, and effort. Love is, as love does. When we genuinely love someone, we make every possible effort, to act towards them, in loving ways, even on our most hectic days, or days when we don't feel like loving. It is how we love their very being, their essence, it is how we love them through thick, and thin, through ups, and downs, through their flaws, and imperfections, day in, and day out. 5. Love is relaxed. The Buddhists say, if you meet somebody, and your heart pounds, your hands shake, your knees go weak, that's not the one. When you meet your soulmate, you'll feel calm. No anxiety, no agitation. 
Love is not about insecurity, or jealousy, or possessive. Love should be wild, and free, but relaxed, and secure. What is true love, to you? Become a contributor at The Minds Journal. We want to hear your story. Share your work, your thoughts, and your writings, and we will make sure it reaches the world. To submit, log in now. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Like, comment, and share. Visit us at themindsjournal.com.